Hey everybody, this is Dante too. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. Uh, just wanted to point this out right now. Uh, Edward has a ruby ring on him. Remember that. Because when I tell you to remove all your ruby rings, uh, just remember that he's got one defaulted on him. Uh, he's also got the Dreamer's Harp and everything else. What does Bart's Tunic do? I forget. Ah, prevent silence. Uh... Although it's not too much better, uh, I'm going to give it to Rydia just for that. I don't think anything can inflict us with silence, but better safe than sorry. And I moved Edward down there because he is cannon fodder at this point. Uh, Edward really does suck in battle at this point in the game. Um, he will get better later. Although, ironically enough, once he leaves our party, like I said, people are going to be leaving our party at... Uh, pretty continuous rate. Once he leaves our party, he doesn't rejoin ever. He's the only character not to rejoin your party. Other than... he, He's the earliest character not to rejoin your party, I should say. There are other characters who leave and don't rejoin, but that's because they stay in for the rest of the game. Anyway, what we have here is an Adamantois. They are turtles. They are weak to ice. And I should have used a tent outside. Actually, no way, that's Edward. He's gonna die anyway. Well, I should go over here. Edward, um, he can attack. He also has Sing, which is standard bard ability, uh, causes effects on enemies. He has Heal, which takes a single potion and divides it between your entire group. It's pretty subpar and not really useful. Um, he also has the Hide ability, which allows him to hide. Yeah. He has Auto Hide. When he goes down in the critical, he will automatically hide. And more or less, I am probably going to have him hiding for the most part of the, the portion that he's in the game right now. Because he's relatively worthless at this point. Spider Silk casts slow on all enemies. Very useful. Like I said, Time Magic kind of is awesome. Anyway, we have a Palette Swap with a Goblin now. Uh, Edward's Harps are actually some of the uh, better weapons in the game, at least the two that he's going to have in our main run right now. Our main little bit right here with him, because he's going to get another Harp in this area, and that's all he gets for more or less the rest of the game. Um, these two Harps actually cause status conditions. The one he has right now uh, causes sleep, and the one he's going to get in this area causes confusion, and that's one of the earliest times you can get a confusion-causing item. And it's very handy, actually. Yeah, I just blizzard all of them, and that's about it. Put to sleep. And finish. Yeah, Edward gained a level. I don't really care. Ugh. <laughs> He's actually able to kill one. I apologize if I don't get all the items in this uh, dun in this dungeon because this dungeon is actually kind of weird the way it's laid out, and I don't exactly have it memorized. I do have maps of the entire of all the areas. Uh, thank you, Final Fantasy IV guide. And aside from that, the guide is actually pretty mediocre. It's one of the last good guides I say I ever bought. Uh, mainly because it has an entire bestiary that's actually pretty complete. Uh, it's got good maps of all the areas. It doesn't go over some of the extra content in the advanced version, but what it does go over, it does go over pretty well. And oddly enough, the guide is actually somewhat incomplete. It's got it's got some items, it's got some of the new items, and some of the new items are correctly statted, and some of them aren't. It's really weird. I'll go over it. Uh, I might go over a little bit more later, if I get the chance. 
But yeah, Final Fantasy, the official Final Fantasy IV Advanced Guide is actually marginally good. That being said, it's done by Nintendo Power, so God help it, it better be good. It's not like it's a Brady Games Guide or anything. Anyway, in here we have the Lamia Harp. Lamia Harp is, at least in the standard version, the only equipment upgrade for Edward. And it's a good enough upgrade. It puts en it confuses enemies, like I said. Holy shit! Okay, I was gonna cut that battle, but I guess I'm not going to, because I just saw something there that was incredibly awesome. Um... Yeah, apparently the Ice Rod can deal massive amounts of damage to the Adamantoises. So... Whew, didn't know about that one. Uh, let's just use a tent and save here. And grab these items Phoenix down ever, and emergency exit, emergency exit works like teleport. It allows us to instantly leave the dungeon. I'll be using that to get out of this area, uh, just with ease. Some people would say fight your way out, but I don't want to, mainly because getting out of here is actually kind of hard and annoying. I'm going to ignore you. What is up here? I think this is a potion, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. Go me. More spider silk. There's nothing over there. Ooh, new enemy, Lesky. These guys are ghouls, I believe, is their enemy type. Why I know that? Because I had to look up ghouls for somebody's, uh, somebody's equipment later. Not equipment, somebody's weapon later in the game. That deals extra damage to only ghouls. And ghouls are probably the most underpopulated uh, class of enemies in the game. Confused, yay. Like I said, Edward's not completely useless at this point. Uh, once he gets his Lamia Harp, he actually becomes somewhat useful, especially with confusing enemies. Bosses, however, he's still completely crap at. In the warp spell, warp allows us to uh, return to the previous floor in the dungeon. Uh, it also allows us to um, remove all enemies from battle, I think. I will test it out here. I don't know if it's going to let me. Ah, okay, it just doesn't have an effect. This could be bad, then. You guys are yellow jellies, they're flans like before, and they are most likely weak to thunder, I think? I think? Yeah. My voice is cracking. I did not have a good morning today. Thunder. Yeah, I can one-shot them. One of my test runs, I couldn't one-shot them, and it was kind of annoying. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Down here is final area. So Antlion lays its eggs. You wanna put on some gloves before you do this? It doesn't look okay. Cocky little Oh jeez. Yeah, tame I bet. Alright, start fight with the antlion. The antlion is going to counterattack all physical attacks dealt to it with counter horn. Uh, because of this, Edward is going to hide and do nothing else.
if you want him to continue to hide, just hit defend. He'll stay in hiding. Um, so, oh yeah, summon. Just have ready a summon. Oh crap, wrong thing. And have Cecil attack. That should move this battle along fairly well. You could also have uh, Edward sit out and um, deal out healing with potions in his heal command, so I think I'm going to do that a little. Uh, hmm. I don't think you can be hit by anything. Most bosses are immune to status effects in this game, but I'll go over uh, the specifics of that a little bit later. When we get more status effects. So he's just gonna counter all your physical attacks, not much else. Don't have don't have Edward attack, he's just not gonna do enough damage to make it really matter. And I don't know why I had right yet attack. I think I got confused. And his actual standard physical attack isn't that good. I think I might be overleveled for this boss. Maybe a little bit. Well, I'm gaining levels after him, so I don't know. And we get the Sand Ruby. Ew. Despite saying I didn't know if I was going to get all the chests, I did, I think. It's a sign. Uh, I don't think, nope. Okay. For some reason I thought there was a chest behind there, and it's definitely something they would do. It's kind of, it's a dick move that I wouldn't put past them. And emergency exit, teleport out. And yay us. Ow, to Rosa! And I'm thinking, oh god, we have to go through the waterway again. That's gonna take forever. I can get through these shoals. That's gonna take forever. Actually, we have over here. What we have over here is convenient shoals. Uh, the hovercraft, while you're using it, you are also immune to uh, random encounters. So we just zip on down here, go Capio, and we heal our girlfriend. I'm going to save first, and we are going to do that next time. So see you then.